once we realize our purpose in life, uh, which when I realized after my brother passed away, was that Apani, you know, we are here to worship Allah and not to, uh, not to waste too much of our time with too many dunya things. Yeah. So there, you've done that, being famous, being known as celebrity, you have everything in your hand. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah. Tapi <coughs> semua orang nak hidup macam macam macam. Oh okay, macam Miss Nina. Tapi macam mana Miss Nina? You tenang, you lalui semua ni, hmm. pelayaran kehidupan ni, hmm. dan lautan hmm. yang bergelora macam ni. Macam ni go through it and compose and bring one by one. Oh, Masya Allah, Masya Allah. <laughs> nak, nak jadi tenang ni, I think it's not an easy thing to do. I think we all have to go through some kind of journey to get to a space where we can be reda with Allah. We can accept His decisions, kan? And like Farah was saying earlier on, you know, once we realize our purpose in life, uh, which when I realized after my brother passed away, was that Apani, you know, we are here to worship Allah and not to uh, not to waste too much of our time with too many dunya things. So one of the things that I feel right now in my life yeah. that keeps me at peace, gives me contentment, mm. that I know, you know, perhaps I'm going through this struggle, it's good for me, yeah, yeah. you know, maybe I'm going through this fight or I'm crying, it's good for me, it's because of the Quran, and there's n- for me, I feel like the only, the only source of peace in my life is from Allah and the Quran, and I feel like uh, and I, you know, I have to say as well, you know, for especially the young people, we need to get back to the Quran and start learning again, start to get to know who Allah is, because in in order for us to put Allah as number one, which was my problem before, I didn't put Allah number one. That's why that mm-hmm. tenang. That's why it was just dunya, dunya, dunya. It's like going around in circles. And you you only want f- to be famous. You want this. You want that. Itu je. Nothing about akhirat. So when we, when I got to know more about Allah, who is Allah? How loving He is? How merciful He is? How He wants us all to be in Jannah? Kan? From learning our Quran, from from being with the you know good people around me, my friends around me, you know, with uh, my family who support me. But it's it's through knowledge I feel that keeps me reminding. Okay, kenapa? What am I doing here today? Kadang-kadang kita lupa kan? Yes. Is you know we get so busy in this dunya that we forget what is our purpose. We forget about Allah, and then we become so stressed again. But then when we are reminded by you know when I listen to Prof Mahaya talk or I listen to you know anyone give a little bit of trauma, Alhamdulillah, <coughs> it com- we, we come back to the source. Yeah. Kan? So I think going back to the topic of the day, it's, it's Allah like you said number one, yes. you know, and, and from Quran, yes. having our good friends together, when we strive together to <coughs> uh, kawan, kawan, and, and we strive together to do things that will benefit us not in dunya but also in akhirat. Yeah. Sure because man. if we do something that's just dunia aja, it's okay. like oh, it's topping. We call it topping. Top- topping. Topping. Ha. Topping. Topping. Ha. Topping. Ha. Topping. 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 Topping.